everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So I would like to take a look at our week ahead. So I like to do these. I haven't done one in a while, but let's take a look at what's coming up this week. What are the energies surrounding us? We have a lot going on. We have the impeachment trial that's going to be underway in the Senate. We have some uprising happening in the state of Virginia with some protests going on there. And what are the energies for this week? So I'm gonna shuffle up the cards and we'll get started. Be right back. Okay, so first out is about the political realm. What's gonna be happening around that? Now the first card out is the temperance card reversed. The, um, what comes to me when I, when I feel into this intuitively is some sort of reversal. Uh, something is going to be um, either something that was put in motion is going to be either backtracked or there's some type of reversal coming. Look for a change or a flip, but it's not just changing a situation. It's like undoing something that someone else did. So I'm not sure exactly how that'll play out, but that's what I'm sensing is we're, it's like we're doing something that is going to, in effect, take what was done before and flip it completely opposite like like just a reversal okay um <clears throat> now the card crossing that of course a temperance is a major arcana so it tells me there will be a lot of energy a lot of focus on this on the political this week um now the card crossing it is also a major arcana it's the world card i'll show this to you now i got a new deck i'm so excited <laughs> Um, this, this is actually the Rider, um, weight deck, but it's, um, this particular deck that kind of remastered it and it's like brighter colors and they kind of, it's just, it's beautiful. Anyway, that's the, that's this new deck. Um, and I've already prayed over it and blessed it and everything. So it's now part of my, my little toolbox. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um. So the, the world crossing that, um, now this is a, a, the card of success, the world card. So whatever this reversal is, this, this feeling I get of, of something being changed into something else, it, it's gonna, they're going to have success with it. So whether the Senate, perhaps if this is relating to the impeachment itself, perhaps the Senate is undoing something that was done previously, and they're going to have a measure of success with whatever they're doing. It may be doing something differently, but it's having a reversal effect on what maybe the house did. So we'll see how that plays out. Okay. All right. Next is socioeconomic. <clears throat> now, this is interesting. We've got the two of swords. This is a card of being in denial or not wanting to look at something clearly. Um, it couldn't be having, like, being staunch in your own opinions and being closed-minded. I'll show you the imagery here. As you can see, that person is, like, blindfolded and they're this guard up. Like, I don't want to look at, I don't want to look at whatever is out here. I'm just going to be behind my little shell. Now, <clears throat> seeing that card on uh, you know it makes me think of you know virginia and all of that that's going on there there's going to be a lot of unrest i think there will be a lot of that in the news probably hitting the news i've been telling my friends don't listen to the news and believe everything that comes out okay make sure you vet what comes out in the news if you can people that are there would be the best resources you know first-hand accounts of people actually there um so be careful because we get a lot of fake news, a lot of um, division, a lot of disunity and, and disharmony. And this card is about not wanting to look at the truth. So whatever we hear may not be the full story and there may be some hidden aspect of that we're not seeing. So just be aware of that. Um, now the card crossing that is a major arcana again. We have the hanged man. This is a card of winning by surrender. Surrendering to the greater powers that be and kind of going with the flow and choosing your battles wisely. Interesting on this, when you have 
look the two underneath this card of being in denial being obstinate and then you've got this greater card the major arcana on top of winning by surrender having to surrender to the process and surrender to the truth when i see these cards together it feels like a stalemate one side is being obstinate and the other side is not is having to just surrender and either give not give up because it's this is a it's a powerful card this the energy of the hanged man but it's also recognizing that there's some things that you can't just win outright you have to give a little to gain so the yeah this to me is just like two sides butting heads that's how i see it but the side that is winning by surrender and that card is is stronger it's the major arcana so it feels like there's more energy with that than the obstinate side so maybe knowing that there is a greater purpose going on and that justice maybe will seek or win in the end it's also the card if you <laughs> if you look at the artwork it's also the card of the martyr if you look at that it at it that way so I see these two energies clashing. There, these these two cards could couldn't really be more opposite in their intent and their purpose. And that's I think what we're gonna see play out is two sides that are just really not um, not working together and very much at odds. And of course, you know there there could be some violence in the streets. There could be um, and. I saw some reports coming out already that people are saying that there's Antifa and others that are being bust in and and people are you know looking for fights probably with this um, but I don't with these two energies clashing their their energies don't mesh at all um, so I don't see any type of you know peaceful coming together and re resolution of the ultimate core issue that is being protested however I did see um, in my previous reading a lot of networking a lot of people getting together as friends and making new friends and forming partnerships with people so I do think there will be a lot of good that comes out of this um, protest there in Virginia but uh, it, I think it's going to be overshadowed by the I guess you could call it just a, a locked locked two sides locked <laughs> so all right okay moving on so the next question is on the hidden influences this week now an interesting card on this is we have the nine of cups this is the wish card getting your wishes granted your wishes coming true I find this very fascinating in light of the what's happening this week in the political and socioeconomic realms but getting what you wish for um, I think in terms of what we saw with the political, with the Senate, um, having that reversal and the success card, obviously that's going to be getting what you wish for. Um, I think that will play out for the Senate in some respect. They'll have some type of success at something that they've been aiming for. Um, yeah, it, it does feel like Tuesday is gonna be an important day um, this week for the Senate. So what is coming to light? We have the Queen of Wands. I'll show this one to you, Queen of Wands. So wands are about creative energy. And when I see this queen, it feels like there's something coming in that's going to be like a new way of doing things, something new. Um, and I, again, I, I don't know if I can pinpoint what that is, but it feels like a new, a new revelation, a new way of doing things. The lesson to be learned this week is a reversed four of wands. Four of wands is a happy card of family and joyful celebration. Um, and perhaps this card is a friendly reminder to help us 
focus on what's most important, and that is our relationships with each other, our world, our families, and to not forget that we're all we're all in this together. With especially with the two sides fighting, it's like we're we're brothers, we're sisters, we're all in this together. Um, now, the end result outcome is an interesting card. We have another major arcana. We have the judgment card reversed. Now, the judgment card is, like it, like it says, it's kind of the final judgment. It's coming to a realization of what really matters most in life. And to see that card on the final outcome as a reversal can be some difficulty letting go, some difficulty seeing the truth or understanding the greater purpose of what's really going on. With this card reversed, I get a feeling of not being ready to make that final assessment or to, to assess to assess your situation and to really take to heart the lessons that you're here to learn. This is like a, a difficulty in that or an unwillingness to look at those deeper issues. Underneath it is the worldview card. It's the two of wands. This is a card of seeing the truth, seeing where you want to be, understanding and having a vision for the future that you want to create. And it's kind of overlooking all of this that's playing out. It's like all of these skirmishes and all of these squabbles from the impeachment trial to what's happening in Virginia and elsewhere. These are like it's like a movie playing out and you kind of filling in the blanks and the pieces as you go, seeing the world that you want to create in the end. And what's what the judgment calls us to is to look at what really matters. And the same with that four of wands reversed. It's also beckoning and calling as the lessons, like what is most important, you know, is, is is fighting amongst ourselves and bickering, is that really what's important? But as we take the trials and the fighting and the squabbling, what do we learn from it? Are we able to get past our own egos and our own indifferences and look to the greater good and to find a way to get along and create the world we wanna see and wanna live in? One thing I forgot to mention too with this Nine of Cups, this uh, having your wishes granted card on the question of what's um, the hidden influences um, is that this having your wish granted could go along with um, all of that, especially in Virginia. Um, there may be some on the other side that you know, if they're plotting something and they're trying to hurt people or they're trying to cause fights, they could have their wish granted also. It's, this isn't like just good wishes coming true. It's whatever, it's whatever the sides are putting their heart and soul into and what they're putting their intention behind. They'll have their wishes granted. There's, there's that energy for all sides. So I just wanted to mention that and make that distinction. So basically it's it's going to come down to each person. Are they willing to put aside differences in favor of finding what unites us and brings us together as a people? And uh, or is this this uh, fighting and stalemate energy going to persist? So that's that's what's going to be the lesson this week and by people's choices we'll find out which way that goes okay that's all i have for this reading i appreciate you stopping by my channel and uh, we'll check in next time this has been intuitive edge
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.